The Alpre Assurance Land Task Force is the government of Canada's contribution to the NATO assurance measures in Eastern Europe. Uh, what that means is that we're deployed to Poland with a mandate to train with our NATO partners in Eastern Europe uh, to conduct exercises to assure them against uh, any possible acts of aggression that may occur. The Logistics Support Group is uh, comprised of 60 people, uh, which represents about one person, uh, one in four on the task force. And we have 15 different trades in the group. So these trades range uh, from everything from our maintenance uh, capacities to repair our vehicles, our drivers to uh, operate all of our equipment, supply technicians that do all our inventory control and warehousing, uh, we have traffic technicians to do our uh, international shipping, and then we have uh, military police uh, to provide police services to the deployed forces, as well as uh, a medical element to provide uh, medical care for our soldiers. And then we also have uh, cooks that provide meals and meal supplements to, to feed the force uh, in Poland. Logistic support group tasks are varied. They go from supporting people here on the camp to while they're deployed on exercise to getting equipment and support from Canada brought here to Poland. The, uh, the most significant challenges that we face uh, operating in a deployed setting is, uh, is the distance. Uh, the distance from Canada to where we operate in Europe, as well as the distance from our location in Poland uh, to the various places where we train uh, going as far up as Estonia and as far south as uh, Romania. And that challenge forces us to uh, adapt to a much longer planning cycle where we need to identify our requirements uh, about approximately a month and a half before we need them to ensure that uh, there's enough time for us to procure locally or to order the equipment in Canada and have that equipment shipped by sea or by air uh, depending on priority and availability of resources. We're, right now we're driving back from uh, the operational support hub in Cologne, Germany. So we're returning to, uh, to Poland after visiting the site and interacting with the team there. The operational support hub provides both close and general support to those operations that are deployed primarily in Europe, but we are also the European-based uh, Canadian Forces footprint for operations going into other parts of the world, but primarily our job is to support the uh, task force based in Poland, the task force based in Ukraine, and whichever uh, of Her Majesty's Canadian ships is deployed for the land task force in Poland. Once equipment comes in here, either by aircraft or by sea container, the cargo is either freight forwarded using the land task force's own trucks, or usually we use a uh, certified freight forwarder. The ripple that we have to introduce is making sure that we have the correct German uh, military permits for uh, moving articles of war, uh, be it weapons, ammunition, fighting vehicles, uh, through their territory into Poland, and sometimes for onward movements to other countries beyond Poland. So as I mentioned before, uh, when we're not able to get items from uh, locally here in Europe, we bring them in from Canada. So when we bring them from Canada, that's typically through uh, airlift or sea lift. A sea lift uh, taking approximately 30 to 45 days. An airlift uh, varies uh, according to the operational tempo uh, and the availability of Canadian air assets. So what do we bring in? All of our vehicles, equipment, uh, spare parts for our vehicles uh, to repair them, as well as uh, our ammo, our Canadian rations, and uh, any type of uh, sensitive or, or dangerous cargo and communications equipment. Setting up a camp on exercise is a large task. It involves several different things. Uh, it includes the actual tentage for the camp. So we have to calculate how many people are going to be in the camp and the number of tents required, which then leads to an electrical distribution plan, a heating plan, and then any other safety precautions required, such as distances between tents and fire safety equipment. Setting up a camp adequately is very important because it ensures the uh, comfort and well-being of soldiers while they're deployed. I'm very proud of all the work accomplished by the Logistics Support Group. We have enabled uh, the deployment of several exercises simultaneously throughout different areas of operation, and we have stretched ourselves over hundreds of kilometers, something that we would never do in Canada.